I'm so tapped up, and this is Bottled Garden. This is... This is one of those games that... It's pretty easy to say, that's not a game. And I mean, maybe you're right. But, uh... I never really cared too much about that. So, Bottled Garden is a terrarium game. Where you pretty much just have this little terrarium. It's a nice little... Little scorpion there. Little... Whatever those are. Some little trees. And... All you'd really do... Is you water the thing to make it grow faster. You get these little light spheres. I've never owned a terrarium in real life, but I'm sure that you use light spheres to make them grow faster. That seems reasonable. Uh, so you pretty much just want to keep it watered if you want, or you don't really have to water it. It just accelerates how fast it grows. Um, you can see at the top there, it says it'll grow in three minutes. If we didn't water it, it would grow at one fourth that rate. That's right, Parker. And um, there's really not too much to do other than you you pick a terrarium from this big old book of different styles. Uh, I really like the different styles they got. They got kind of a little, a standard one here. That's right, Parker. Would you sit down, please? You got a standard one. You got this lovely little beachy one. I like these. That's right. You got these sort of zen gardeny ones with some Japanese flair to them. Obviously, the game is in Japanese, by the way. Uh, um, you, you, if you couldn't guess, yes, it's all in Japanese. It does not matter. Um, there's really not too much you do that requires any kind of reading. You just kind of go in here, you pick your terrarium, you water it, you watch it grow. And then after you grow a terrarium, you get the parts from the terrarium. And you can go over into this menu and you can make your own terrarium. So let's make a new one. We'll make it uh, the snowy one. I like the snowy one a lot, too. The snowy one, the beach, and the zen one are my favorites. Let's see, we'll pick that. And you can put some nice uh, freezer cactuses out here. Just ploop down those freezer cactuses. A little Rafalisa. That's, those belong in Winter Wonderlands. Put a nice little frozen tree. Um, that's right. Oh, I don't have the scorpions unlocked. That's why I have to finish the one that I'm doing now. See, so yeah, as you... As you unlock the... Oh! Oh, there's different sets. Okay. And there's different backgrounds. You unlock these as well. So you can have, like, a nice sunset, which is not very... There that we, there we go. This is my favorite background, too. This nice, like... Winter lake kind of deal with the starry sky. The music is very... Calming, as well. It's a nice... It's a calming app. So get a little, nice little... Snowman there. Oh, we do have scorpion friends. Get some winter scorpions. Beautiful. Now that is a terrarium, my friends. And you pretty much just make it to make a picture. Share it on your favorite social media site. Um, do what you want. As you can see, I've grown most of them. Uh, I think I just have the dune ones left, in fact. And I don't know if there's anything to do other than just, you know, make things. I've almost finished every last one, but I don't know if you can go back and regrow them. That's right. But yeah, pretty simple. Definitely not for everyone, but uh, if you just want to open this up every, uh, like, once every few hours and see what your terrarium's doing, um, I think it's pretty enjoyable. Just a nice little... Insert some quiet moments in your life, you know? There's different music tracks, too. I always get surprised that mobile games have music. <laughs> I play them muted 90% of the time. But there's some nice little... ...musics. There's a line... ...group or something you can go on. I don't... I don't know what line is. It's... it's I know it's a chat thing, but that's... I'm not sure there is anything else to know. Oh, hey, it grew. So it'll only grow one-fourth at a time without being watched. So that's why you have to open it every, you know, every one hour, th 23 minutes in this case, or every, like, five hours if you don't water it. You would open it up, and it would grow a little bit, and you would go back. And In a way, it's kind of the purest idle game because you don't really have any influence over things other than just time. So, it's, like I said, it's in Japanese, it's not for everybody, um, there really isn't too much to understand beyond what I've already said. There is this little upgrade menu, I do not know what these do, um, 
So you can use, you can watch an ad and you get 10 of these tickets. And you can spend 10 tickets to refill your water bottle. And you spend 100 of them to do a thing that I don't know what it does. I have upgraded it twice. It does not seem to do things. But it doesn't really matter. You don't really need to upgrade. You can just, you know, watch it grow completely idle. You don't have to water them at all. No, I've ran out of stuff. But yeah, that is pretty much what you do. This is Bottled Garden. The the name, it's actually in Japanese. Uh, there's a link in um, in the in the video description. That That's an easy way to get to it. I'm not sure if it's on iOS. It's definitely on Android. But if you search Bottled Garden, I don't think you'll get it. Because like I said, the title's in... It's in um, Kanji. Or actually, it's in Katakana, not Kanji. But, you know, splitting hairs. It's in Japanese is what I meant to say. So yeah, that's Bottled Garden. If you want to check it out, check it out.